hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Anne, and as you can tell by the title today i'll be showing you all what's on my ipad that i use for notes in college so i got this um cover from sheen it was like two dollars sheen always have the most inexpensive covers for phones for ipads and everything i also got my screen protector from um, paper like because it makes it feel like paper you know the sound feels like paper when you're writing on the not like the regular um, screen protectors you know and this is the Apple pencil first generation and I got this rubber thing that helps with friction and slippery from Sheen as well yeah I love Sheen I got this iPad as a gift for my brother. Thank you so much, Coffee. But this is what I used to take notes here in school. Let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the cover, the lock screen. It's my brother and I. So this is the first page on the iPad. So I have the clock, the calendar, the picture thing, and the weather. I don't have any fancy things on it because I don't have time for that. And I really add um, a lot of apps to save space on it just in case I need to download bigger test books and all that. I really use the FaceTime on here, but I have the camera, the contacts, <clears throat> the clock, the home, nothing interesting on this page. And the apps down below, I always have the color note, this app. So I have the messages, the safari, notes, music, the color notes, pictures and all that. I really put pictures on here just to save space. And yeah, these are the apps that I have on it. I have Zoom, you know, it's a pandemic. <laughs> and drive i really use drive now not in college but way back in high school we used drive a lot but now we just use um microsoft word so i don't have to use google drive but i still have it just in case and the ipad doesn't come with a calculator so i downloaded a calculator you know and then gmail facebook i really ever use facebook but i still have it on here Okay, and I have my Gmail, my Netflix, my brother's account, <laughs> but yeah, I have Netflix, Chrome, you know, to search up stuff and all that, and then Blackboard for the school stuff, because we see homework, our grades, our classes. I mostly transfer slides, PDFs from the Blackboard app to the color notes app so that I can write on those slides while we're studying in class but this is the blackboard app and then YouTube of course how you to subscribe let's keep going and then and then I have the YouTube Studio app to check out my accounts. I really use this. I mostly use the YouTube Studio on my phone, but I have it on here as well. And then I have the Notability app. At first, the Notability, you, I think you had to pay before you could use it, but now you can get it for free, so I got it. And I use this app only for my test books, so I read my textbooks on this app. So I have like two textbooks, uh, three textbooks. These two are for my environmental class and this one is for psychology. I really ever read it. <laughs> it's so long, but the other ones, I'm kind of forced to read it because we have prompts to apply to and all that stuff. And this, uh, on this side too, I have the Cooking Fever um, app. I love to play this game, it's really interesting and entertaining. I sometimes play it in class when the lecture is boring, you know. And then I have the Bibles app, the SoundCloud app for music sometimes. 
PicMonkey for editing and then Outlook, I have the VK app for K-dramas of course. I have Instagram, I have the Rosta route to track buses for classes when I'm going to classes, look at the lines, I don't know. I think they're not working today because of the snow so we can't see anything here. But I have that, I have fixed art for editing for thumbnails but I will use it, I use the ones on my phone because it's more easier that way but I love fixed art. Then I have more Microsoft Word in case I need to download anything, look through my stuff and then, you know, work on it. That's it, this is the app library. I don't have a lot of apps on this, on this iPad because I like to keep it clean and not have too much apps that will take up space, like unnecessary space. So now let's move on to how I take notes. So this is the Color Note app. It's actually one of the best apps I've ever downloaded because it's helped me so much. It's free, it has so many features. You can use it for almost everything. So I have folders for each class. This folder here was for human anatomy from last semester, but I kept it because it kind of continues, so I wanted to keep it. But all the other folders that I made for last semester, I deleted them because I didn't need them and it was a waste of space. So I always kind of delete them after. And then I have the principles of environmental health science class. So I have the, the slides here. I write on them. <laughs> I write lyrics and I get bored, but I write on them or maybe I want to circle anything, I want to underline anything, I want to highlight. Yeah, so good. And then, yeah, all the other apps. I also write down my ideas for YouTube. And then my to-do list, sometimes I like to write it in here. Sometimes I write it on paper. I rarely ever take notes because I just look at the slides. For example, for my AMP lab, we have to do, we don't have to, but it's a way to study for the manual. So to go over each body part, we go over them right down so I can erase it if I wanna study. You know, my handwriting is the worst. Yeah, then the Notability app. Let me go over that again. It's free now. When I'm reading for my class, sometimes we need to read for, as you all saw in my study vlog, we need to read for a prompt. So to get the ideas I highlight, I write down stuff and all that stuff. Yeah. So that's it for my, what's on my iPad. I hope it was informational. I know this is not the most entertaining video ever, but thank you so much for watching if you watch this and have an amazing day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.